What's up guys, it's Burkham Series coming at you with another video and today we're going to be doing a Xbox One controller review and yeah, so basically let's get on with this so as you can see, the Xbox One controller is just right here it's a day one edition, 2013, let me get that in focus so you can see that pretty sure you can read it it takes a little bit to focus, if you got okay, never mind. I'll do that later if you guys want I will get a close-up picture of it, yeah, as you can see, you can read it right there. Anyway, it's got the Chrome D-pad and stuff, yeah, all that good jazz. Anyway, um, as you can see, it was stand, I was using this Minecraft block as a stand. If you guys want one of these, I will link this down below. They're actually pretty cool, and yeah. Also, uh, um, so yeah, anyway, on to the controller review. Uh, this controller... Honestly, I think it's a really good controller. It does fit nicely in your hands. Right, just nicely ready to game and stuff. Anyway, uh, so, yeah. So, let's get on to some specs I think I like or dislike about it. First, let's start with the dislikes. Anyway, so some of the dislikes is, I think these are with most people too that own an Xbox One. One, that the analog sticks are too small. They are like, almost like twice as small as the other controller you want. One sec, uh, never mind. I was gonna get an Xbox 360 controller, but I don't know where one is right now. But, anyway, so, um, uh, yeah, so they're a little small, and, yeah, just, they're a little bit too small, but I do have a solution to that I will, like, show you at the middle or end of the video. And anyway, we also the bumpers right here, this is actually a pretty big problem. They are too high. Like, if you're just gaming like this, like, yeah and you reach to hit the bumper, it's kind of awkward, it feels kind of awkward. But a solution I do have for that is uh, just kind of reach for the end right here, not for like up here in the middle, just kind of for the end, because that one's kind of low, so you can just like, kind of like the regular Xbox 360 bumper. And yeah, the butt, and now to the like things I like about it. First off is the buttons. They are, well, they're not really changed, but they're still good. The Pause and start buttons are in good positions. They are, yeah, just better. Uh, actually, not better, just smaller. Not in your way as much. Also, this is drastically better. The D pad, I think, is a lot better on this. The triggers are also bigger, so they kind of shape around your finger a little bit more. Here, I'll show you that. Right here, if I can I'll try. It's kind of awkward because I got this, I got my phone. Recording with my phone, it's like on this tripod thing, so. But yeah, it kind of curves around your finger, so it's kind of, it's also kind of heavier, which I kind of like, because I like, I don't like super duper light things, like a super duper light controller, I wouldn't like that. So yeah, I think it's kind of nice to have a little bit of weight to it. Also, um, yeah, the overall design I think is better, it fits your hand shape better, so that your hands won't like hurt or anything after long gaming sessions. And yeah. And I think I said this, but if I didn't, I'm going to say it again anyway. Um, I will post, like, some pictures of close-up pictures, like the buttons, the analog sticks, the bumpers, this thing when it's in action. Actually, I'll do that later. And, yeah. Anyway, uh, the stand you probably saw in the beginning was a just a little statue. It's like, it was just a little statue. It's just right here. This is a little dragon. Oh, whoops. And, um... <clears throat> As you can see, you can put your controller on it, and it is pretty nice. I will link, I actually will link the Dragon and an Xbox, and a link for the Xbox One down in the description if you're interested in buying either of them. Same with the Diamond Block, as I said before. And the little orange thing you saw at the beginning of the video, if you saw it, spot it. It's just my Dragon. A little Dragon I got from uh, Sea World or something. And yeah, it's just, I think it's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Let's get back onto the controller, the stand or the dragon. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. As you can see, it is pretty bright. It's easier to see. There is no, like, little player button thing. But, and there's no, like, color. I don't know, differences. So, it's kind of hard to tell who's first, who's second. So, you're not going to be, like, fighting with your friends who's going to be first player or something. It won't be... Yeah. Anyway, to fix the problem with the analog sticks, 
does cost a little bit of money, but not too much, I would say. Unless you try to buy a bunch of them, but they're called Control Freaks. You might have heard of them. They're, this one is the Phantom for Xbox One. I will link their website down below if you guys want to check them out. Anyway, so what you do, you just kind of put it on your controller, just kind of snap it on. And yeah, I kind of like it even, so like the skull is like facing me, so... Yeah, so it makes the analog stick a little bit bigger, as big as the Xbox 360s, and yeah, just kind of, yeah, and also it's supposed to help increase your aim in Call of Duty Black Ops, and not Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Black Ops 2, and like, any other game basically, so yeah, just gonna take that off, so yeah, anyway, uh, I'm gonna turn, this also turned on the Xbox One, which is just over there, by my desk, desk is right over here and as you can see this is the xbox one i was going to do an unboxing of it but i decided not to if you guys do want a review on the xbox one i'll take it up on the desk over there and do some little things so yeah we're gonna turn that off and this is my fan because when i was playing it, i would have an overheating problem so i would recommend getting a fan if you have an xbox one and yeah, I will, at the end of the video, I will show some pictures, some fancy pictures of the Xbox One controller. It probably, like, I don't know, it's just some fancy pictures. But they're probably, like, on his chest, or, like, uh, the dragon or something. The nice view. And also, I will show a little bit of gameplay of, like, some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay, and I will, I will have, like, a little, uh, what's it called, uh, like, box that I will record my hands with. That will, yeah, that will record my hands with. That will capture the movements. So you can see how a regular person actually plays with these. I will be using my customized controller. I customized by myself. Which is just right here. Which is just right here. It's got a control freak. I'm not going to take it off. Um, actually, yeah, I will. Not right here. So you can see, it's right here. It's got a Alienware logo. If you're interested in any of their products, which are they're supposed to be really good. Back, I kind of messed up on, and yeah, kind of messed up. But otherwise, that I really like the front matches, Alienware logo, everything. I will be playing with this controller because this is like just the, I did a game with this controller. So that's why I've been doing using my for my let's plays. Uh, I will link if you want are interested in those. I will just check out my channel. You'll see like Rise, Dead Rising. Stuff like that. Anyway, as always, have a nice day. Now, don't if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me and my channel out. It can help me post some more videos for you guys. And if you want more of this type of stuff, like for the PlayStation 4, once I get it, or if I get it, we'll do an unboxing of that for sure, or any other products. And as it, as I said, it, as I said, have a nice day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Team Deathmatch.
to work, soldiers. Enemy SATCOM spotted. SATCOM spotted. Guard dog, KIA. Enemy SATCOM spotted.
enemy SATCOM spotted. He's in the open. <laughs> enemy infantry in the open. SATCOM of link enabled. Enemy SATCOM spotted. <laughs> 